Hey everybody, Tony D. Little Joan is in the background enjoying a nice delicious bone. Still got plenty of bones for Joan. Um, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. If you're having trouble seeing my videos, it's partly on YouTube. Uh, you can subscribe, you can click that notification bell. I think that helps somewhat. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't, you know. I, I definitely been losing comments. I've definitely lost comments. I may have lost subscribers. I don't know. I don't know what YouTube's doing behind the scenes, but they're doing something. I I, I think they're doing something. So uh, also subscribe to me on BitChute. It, even if you don't go there, you know, just uh, there are any of the videos that you like that I deleted except for that one. Um, you know, they're there. Um, so. Uh, you can always find them there and um you know uh that's a backup if, if my channel suddenly disappears you can always go to bitshoot now sometimes a little late posting on bitshoot because i do the youtube ones first and then i try to upload bitshoot and sometimes it gets busy and you can't get your video up there it's a little wonky sometimes it's not quite there yet but it's pretty far along i mean it's pretty close to youtube they just need a few more bells and whistles and it'll be perfect. So definitely get on board with the bit shoot. Okay. Now, uh, beer virus, 288 new cases, 11 more deaths. Rate of transmission drops again. I don't know how much lower that can go. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's down to 0. 0.8 from 0.83. So Murphy um, apparently is saying that he's going to open the gyms in September. Let's see. Do I have a link for that? Yeah. Um, September 1st. So that's that's pretty close. I mean, that's only like five days away. Um, I don't know what that means for Attilus. What it should mean is that they should just give them everything back. They should give them their license back. They should apologize. Maybe give them a little money for their problems. And if they did that, that would save this state money. Because they're going to take this to court. They're going to take this to court and they're going to win. I'm telling you, they're going to win. And we, the taxpayers of New Jersey, will have to pay for the ego of our tyrant governor, Phil Murphy. Now... You know, as I've said to other people, tyrant Phil Murphy is, out of all the Democratic tyrants, uh, he's pretty, you know, he's he's kind of the most mild of the tyrants, or one of the most mild, I should say. You know, he's not completely stubborn. Uh, he hasn't completely screwed the pooch on you know, certain things. He did work with Trump in the beginning, which I like. Uh, but now he's sort of, I think what he tries to do is he tries to straddle the Demo DNC's suicide pact with kind of just running things his way. Um, but it's not working. It's not working. And almost everything he did related to the DNC uh, is going to come back to haunt him. That picture of him marching with uh, the BLM protesters. Yeah, that'll be back. That'll be back when he runs for re-election. Uh, because... By the time things are over, and I'll get into this in another video, BLM will be, as a as a name, as a brand, absolutely destroyed. Now, as a concept, that's a different issue. You know, black lives do matter. But the organization, BLM, uh, that organization has been taken over by Marxists and has just run amok. So, Murphy kind of doesn't really know the difference i don't think and if he does he hasn't made much of a distinction and uh he will suffer because of that um but you know uh allowing the gyms to open this should have happened uh months ago okay you should have just come down you know what you should have done and you could have done murphy you could have come down to the gym and said hey look Let's work things out. Let's let's ha let's have a talk. I know you want to reopen, but I'm really worried about the virus. And you could have gone back and forth and got them to agree to fairly stringent guidelines. You know, a limited capacity. 
I'm sure they would have been amendable to it. They were amendable to some of it. And it wouldn't have gotten so political and so nasty. But now you're going to suffer because of it. Um, and by the way, I think the DNC has finally put out the word, ooh, pull back, pull back. <laughs> and again, I'll get into that in another video. Um, L -D -L -I -D -L, L-I-D-L, Lidl, I guess it's called, is a German store. It's going to open uh, discount grocery stores in New Jersey. Um, <clears throat> oh, they got a list of the places here. Bayonne, Brick, Egg Harbor. I know that, that area. Garwood, Glassboro. I know that. Gloucester, or Blackwood in Gloucester Township. I know that area. Uh, Lawrenceville, Park Ridge, Weehawken, and Woodbridge. Wow, that's a lot of stores. That is a lot of stores to be opening in this uh, environment. So, but I think it's a good move because these are discount grocery stores. I think you're going to be seeing a lot of people who need a discount grocery store. Uh, so we welcome them and uh, keep an eye out. I, I don't know what they're like. I've never been in one, but we'll we'll soon see, I think. Um, and a big F you to <laughs> the New York Daily News. <clears throat> New Jersey accent is nation's ugliest. New York is second most attractive, according to a poll by the New York Daily News. Right. Okay. Yeah, right. This is part of a long tradition of New Yorkers crapping on New Jersey and saying, oh, you live in Jersey, Jersey. Um, how's everything in New York, by the way? How's, that, how's life in the big city, by the way? You know, we haven't had, you know, other than a minor incident in Atlantic City, haven't really had any riots here. How, how's everything going, going across the river? Ooh, not so good. Not so good for you, New Yorkers, huh? Oh, it's too bad. I guess a lot of you might be moving here. You know, once you get sick of paying the taxes in the Hamptons and uh, and, and all that, right? So uh, suck it, New York. Suck it. And finally, of course, Amy Kennedy in the news again. While uh, Jeff Van Drew is going to get some award tonight at the RNC or... Uh, Trump is going to do something special for him. Amy Kennedy is all over <laughs> uh, the internet, especially uh, in Insider New Jersey, which, you know, American Federation of Teachers endorses Amy Kennedy for Congress. Well, duh. Uh, I guess they couldn't find a communist running that they could endorse or a socialist. The, uh, in case you don't know it, the Amer American Federation of Teachers is so far left they spin in circles. I mean, they're they're extremely leftist. I've said this before. Almost every teacher I've ever met in the public school system is a hardcore Democrat. They they absolutely lost their minds during the Christie administration, our Republican governor, the big fat guy, and um, you know they they will do almost anything to keep they you know endorsing a Democrat for teachers a teachers union. I mean, it's like uh. It's a non-issue. It happens all the time. Uh, but someday, they will be taken for granted, just like every other group that was taken for granted by the Democrats. And quite frankly, it's lo we're long overdue to um, privatize the school system in New Jersey and keep the unions or get rid of the unions, one or the other. As um, government employees... Uh, having a union, as I explained before, is a conflict of interest, I think, because you <clears throat> you end up pitting people who work for us against other people who work for us. It makes no sense because we're paying for both. We're paying for their negotiations and their their lawyers and their dues and, and everything that goes into their wacky negotiations. Uh, there doesn't need to be wacky negotiations for a group of teachers. They work for the state. The negotiation part is who you elect. If you're not getting paid enough, if you think the teachers aren't getting paid enough, those government workers should tell the people, hey, we're not getting paid enough. Hey, we need a raise. Hey, we need this or that. Uh, rather than, you know, using their influence directly on the government. In my view, that would be a better system. Because then those teachers could come out and say, what's wrong with the system? And force the government to fix it or we would kick out the government. But I think you'd be better off 
with a privatized system. Keep your union. Keep the union if you want. Uh, but a private entity could then negotiate and then that would make sense because a private entity uh, isn't tied into the state. So we would be on the side of the, you know, well, we wouldn't be on either side because it was it would be the teachers as a collective group, a collective group of workers negotiating a, with a private entity. And this as as uh, taxpayers, we could stay out of it. And when the smoke clears, you know, you could pick the best education for your kid. That's how libertarians say it. OK, uh, we got a lot to cover today. So stay tuned for my other videos. We got so much to talk about. Uh, that's it, Piney. See you next time.